kids. I'm Omi. This is KK. Hi. And this is Scribble Phonics with Omi. Rickety rackety ray. Rickety rackety roo. Rickety rackety ree. Who are we? The rickety rackety panda bears. Can't you see? And what do we do? We scribble, scribble, scribble with you. And today we're going to scribble for National Puppy Day. Uh, puppy, puppy Patrick. Look how sweet. Parents, please go to Scribble Phonics with Omi. It's great for fine motor skills, left to right progression, and it's a prerequisite to reading and writing. All you need is crayons and paper, and you can scribble a little friend. Aww. Isn't he sweet? Do you have a pet? All right, National Puppy Day. <gasps> Raise your hand if you have a puppy. Oh, there's so much fun. All right, we always start out with green and red. On the left side, we pull down because that tells us that's where we begin reading and writing. And in this sense, we're starting my art. Scribbles. Move over to the right. Pull down. Right. R sound. Right. Pull down. Okay, a p puppy day. P sound. And I'm going to make my little puppy who is Jean-Pierre, a basset hound. B, beginning sound B. And these are h hounds, an H sound. All right, I'm taking brown. Uh, you can use any color you want. Uh, if you want to make your puppy different, I'm going to make mine that looks pretty much like Jean-Pierre when he was a puppy. We're going to start this side. We're going to make a curve over. Brown with a curve over. And then I'm going to pull down on this side because he was a little puppy, a little pig. Come back over here and pull down over here. There's his face. He was a little puppy. All right. And he had white down the middle of him. So I'm going to go back up here after I make my curves around. I'm going to make a curve right about his forehead right down here. You might have a puppy that has lots of puppies and dogs have white down the middle. I'm just going to keep making curves. These are going to go from right to left so we can get all the way to the side. Little curves. This was his brown side of his head. We can go left to right. And then on the other side of his head, leave some white space so we make a little curve here. And that was the other side of him. And we keep filling curves down, top to bottom. Let's curve right. These are curve rights. And these are curve lefts, K curves, those are handwriting lines, curves. And that was the middle of his head. And that stayed white. Now we're going to make his nose. I'm going to come down here. His nose is at the bottom. So we're going to make a little, and if you notice those little puppy nose, dog's nose, and they're a little triangle. So we'll make push. And we'll pull down, slant down, left. Slant down right, slant right, slant left. And as we keep going slant right, slant left, it turns into a little triangle. That is his nose. Then he has some little lips. So we'll take underneath down here at the bottom, a little curve to the left, a little curve to the right. Curve right, curve left. And there's his little lips. And then here's the bottom of his, of his body. Let's go back to brown. Here's the bottom. And you know what we can put in there? Let's put a little red tongue in there. Just a little red tongue. They're always licking us, aren't they? Around and around and around. Now, we're going to put his eyes in. Take our black crayon and we're going to curve over, curve over, curve under, curve over, curve under, curve over, curve under. And I'm going to put the I'm going to put the pupils up at the top because they always look so sad. Curve under, curve under. This little puppy will always look sad. And we'll come over here. Curve over, curve under, curve over. Can you see? Curve under, curve over, curve under. His pupil up at the top. And he's looking kind of sad. Basset hounds, B, beginning sound B. And bloodhounds are good sniffers. They have that sad look, don't they? Such sweet puppies. Okay, and now we're going to put his long ears. And they start out with brown, and then they have ears to 
when they're hunting dogs, they're good. To, their ears rustle up the ground. They can smell well. Those are rhyming words, smell well. All right, we're going to start here. We're going to give him a long droop ear down here. A long droop ear. We'll just keep going around. Keep going around. Curve down, a little curve up. Curve down. And he has a pretty dark ear, so we can make it dark there. Keep curving down. This is our little puppy, our basset hound puppy. Hounds are, some are called bloodhounds. They have good smellers. When they smell something, their nose goes up in the air, curve around, curve. They can smell scents really good. A scent is what we give off. All of us give off a scent. Okay, now we'll go over here and make the other little ear. We're going to curve down and come over here. That's his other ear, down and curve around. We keep going down, curve this one, curves up. Curve down and we keep going around. That's his long ear. Keep going around, curving around. We're not going up and down. We're going around. These are handwriting strokes. The lines go around. We're making A's and G's and P's and Q's. Keep going curve around. That's his long, big ear that flops the ground, rustles up the leaves. It's a long. Well, let's make a little longer. It has to be long. The ears were even. They got to make them even, equal. It's a nice math term. There's our little puppy. Now we can give him a little neck. Take our brown crayon and we'll just give him a little neck down here. Curve down, curve down, curve. That's his little neck. Let's curve right, curve, right, curve, left, curve, right. Just little curves. And there's our puppy for National Puppy Day. My little JP, a basset hound. I wonder what your puppy looks like. Maybe you'd like to scribble your puppy. This is the puppy. Oh, Patrick, look, oh, it looks look just like how, Oh, look how sweet. Oh, how sweet. And you can make a scribble of your puppy. Oh. Well, KK? Yes, Elmi? That's, That's all, kids. kids.